All right, time for my winter packing list. So before we get started, this corresponds with a blog post and a like it to know it folder that I linked a lot of this stuff in there. You can find both those links on my profile. So there's a link for both of those. But anyway, so we are in Europe for just under three weeks. So let's get started with overall clothes. So three pants, one pair of regular jeans, black jeans, and then some dark green corduroys. These are new. So these are the new aloe winter leggings. So these are thicker and they're like brushed on the inside. So I probably wouldn't wear them for jogging. I feel like they're a little bit too warm, but I do like these for regular leggings. I will say these are the airbrush. I like the airlift better, but they are sold out pretty much everywhere. Um, it was really hard to even get these, but I love these. And then two pairs of Spanx leggings. I do like Spanx because it's thicker material, which means it's warmer. So a pair of faux suede, brown, and then black. All right, so then sweaters. I have nine sweaters, kind of a mix of dressed up and casual since we are, you know, in Europe during the holidays. Uh, I'll probably wear this one on the plane since it's the most bulky. For working out outside, so I'll still go jogging outside. These I, let's see, so I have three pairs of leggings. These are the Athleta Rainier legging. I've been rebuying these for a while. My favorite outside jogging legging. Three sports bras, three long sleeve shirts that I pair with a vest to kind of pack it all down. And then socks. I feel like socks take up way too much space, but they honestly make a big difference in how warm you are. So just three regular longer socks that are mid-calf. And then I bring three or four the smart wool hiker socks i mean much warmer than regular socks working out socks and then of course my harry potter christmas socks all right so for accessories over here a furry headband a jogging headband hat earmuffs gloves okay so i was hesitant to buy the ugg gloves i mean they're super warm but i thought they'd be really stiff and hard to use not so i wish i bought these sooner because they're so warm they are technology friendly, so the one thing I will say with technology friendly gloves, test them in store because I've had it happen where like one glove will work and one glove won't, so try it in store. Regular gloves and then my Athleta jogging ones. Scarves, I always bring oversized scarves so they're warmer. So too casual and then I try and bring one that's a little bit more dressy to dress up the sweaters. Pajamas, bras, sports bras, and then my coat. So. This is the Alliston uh, Canada Goose Down Coat. It's expensive. I really wish I had bought this before. Uh, it's so much warmer and lightweight than any of the other jackets I've tried. This has been game changer being in Europe when it's in the 20s. So I love this, highly recommend it. It also packs into its own little pillow pocket, which is awesome. So for shoes, I've talked about these quite a bit on the blog. These are the Cole Haan winter hiking boots. I love them because they're warm, they're comfortable, but they also are very grippy um, for Europe. The cobblestones do get very slick and wet. Another pair of boots. These have a little bit of a wedge to them and then just regular boots for when we're going to dinner and I don't care if we're, you know, super warm. Jogging tennis shoes, backpack, and long chomp that I will smush in my backpack. So, over for accessories. So I talked about this yesterday, the volumizer. Yes, I'm packing a full size hair tool. Rarely happens, but I love it. My travel size uh, straightener, currently the iron in one. Accessories, you know, jewelry, headbands. This is all of my hair, makeup, skincare, everything is in here. And then this is kind of everything else, just my, you know, technology stuff, my heated eye mask, my sunglasses camera. Oh, also, very excited about these. So I usually use like the shake up hand warmers. Those did not cut it when I was in Germany for a, it was like a crazy freeze. So I'm gonna try these um, rechargeable hand warmers. I've tried them at home and I already really like them. But that's everything. So now I will show you kind of how I compress everything and pack it in the packing cubes how I fit everything into my packing cubes and bags. So first thing, I always fold my clothes so they fit perfectly in the packing cube. So just look at what size the cube is and fold it so it's exactly the same. That just helps to maximize the space. So corduroys, both pairs of jeans. I've already pre-folded all these. And then my aloe leggings, the Spanx, the 
other Spanx. So pretty much all the bottoms in here. And then I'm gonna put my workout leggings on the top. These workout leggings and the sweater I'm wearing on the plane. So this is packing cube number one. And so I'll show you, I don't overstuff it because I need to be able to do the double zip to compress it. So if you overfill it, it's too hard to compress down. So I mean, there, that's like all the bottoms pretty much. So now I'll take my smaller packing cube and this will be the rest of my workout stuff. So all my tops, kind of lay it in the bottom, sports bras. And I'll do all my accessories. So like my headbands, bras, gloves, So I feel like I can still put more in here. So I'll put my hat in here. And I feel like that's good. So again, the double zip. See, if you overfill it, it's a little bit hard to get. But see, nice and compressed. All right, so like you already see, like we're getting through the stuff. So then I'll use another small packing cube to do my pajamas, like stuff that I, cause I'm gonna save the sweaters for my vacuum packing bags. So pajamas, I'm gonna put all my socks in this one. All my, my swimsuit and all my underwear and whatnot. And then we can throw this in here because there's still some space. All good, and I'll probably throw my jewelry in here. So again, double zip it. All right, so now all this bulky stuff, I'm gonna use the vacuum bags. So these are like the vacuum bags, but you don't need a vacuum. All you do is you fold it and you compress the air out. So, I will show you one. I think this is the medium size. So I'll kind of just fold my stuff in here. super wrinkled after you vacuum it if you don't. All right, so this is one. So it comes with a little like zipper to zip it shut. All you do is you can hear that air compressing. And like you can really go to town, like sometimes I'll kneel on it, but I've learned they'll get really wrinkly the more you compress it. So that's already compressed down. So I'm gonna do the same thing with these sweaters and the scarves. And and I will show you it all fitting in my bag. So I showed you, these are the sweaters that I showed you where I vacuum sealed it. So this one are, it's the rest of the sweaters that was on the bed and then all the scarves that you saw. So I'm gonna put both of these at the bottom. Yes, I am checking. It's just, it's very difficult with winter clothes not to check. So packing cubes. One big one, two small ones. And then let's see. So these are the like regular boots for like dinner and stuff. Actually, I can fit the bigger ones. So these are the ones with the wedges. 
these are the casual, are the ones for dinner. So this is all my makeup stuff. So I'll put those there. These are my tennis shoes. I want to put both bottoms down so that way I can squish it. I might rearrange this a little bit, but you can see this all fits in the bag once I squish it down. So I'll probably like move things around a little bit. But this is the winter jacket, the coat that I showed you on the bed. It compresses down into its own like little pillow. So pretty much everything else, like this is my plain outfit, the shoes, everything else that doesn't go in there goes my pack so it did all fit.